back to BSU Chelly. <sighs> another day, another dollar. That's what they say. I today had another outpatient surgery. It has nothing to do with my BSG. No, it doesn't. It does. It affects me as v my husband thinks it has to do with VSU, but it doesn't. I had bunion surgery. Don't even ask. So, what time is it, babe? 10.37. It's 10.37. I wasn't able to eat last night after midnight. And then today, my son made me some soup. Let me show you guys. He brought me some soup. Look, and some crackers, which I put on the floor. Some lemonade. And I was not able to eat it. Because I just got nauseous every time I ate it. My stomach is like growling like crazy. I'm so hungry. My husband won't feed me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He keeps asking me what I want to eat. So I'm just going to record my journey and process on how you eat and what you eat after surgery. But not VSG surgery. So I'm going to show you guys my feet real quick. Let me take this off. Okay, there she is. So if you notice, this, you hear my stomach? <laughs> <laughs> so this bone right here, right there, that's what we got done. That is called a Taylor's bunion. I just thought that I had my mom's, well, I do have my mom's feet. We have the same feet, this pokey out bone here. I never realized it was an issue, and I thought it was just, oh, I just have my mom's feet. No big deal. My husband was like, that's not normal. I was like, oh, it's not. So I went. I did my research. Come to find out. Taylor's bungin. Come to find out. I need surgery. So we started with the left foot first. Then we're going to wait after this one heals to do the right. So they were able to basically just, like, can you hold this real quick, babe? So I could lift my thing. So they were basically. Okay. Break this bone here. Put a screw in it to straighten it. <laughs> so it can be like that. That's going to be weird. So that's what they're doing. Otherwise it's going to keep being like this. I can't see you. You're too far back. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And my mom was like, oh, that's what that is. My mom didn't even know. And she says hers is getting bigger. Like, this is getting bigger. What the doctor would say, if you don't handle it now, it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger. So, I was like, you know what? I can't be 50 in Bali with messed up feet. I have to handle this now while I'm young and in my prime. Hush. You hear my stomach? So anyway, so I just wanted to keep you guys updated, let you know I am good, no um, complications like with the anesthesia or anything like that. Um, I did get really nauseous on the way home. My husband stopped to pump gas. There's nothing to do with VSG. <laughs> My husband stopped for gas. You didn't eat for 12 hours yeah it's been 12 Remember hours that? think about that well i had two crackers and a sip of broth soup when when bear brought that's me what i'm sleep. saying but the reason why i believe the reason why i think it's related to your surgery is because this process is a lot different with a full normal stomach oh i see what you're saying you're saying if well yeah. I don't think it has to do with small stomach or big stomach. It does. I think the anesthesia and stuff like that is causing me to be nauseous to not eat. If yeah. I had a big stomach or little stomach. Right? Right. But the meal we had last night, I had the whole meal. Uh, oh, right? you're saying <laughs> so I automatically didn't have a lot of food. Yeah, I had the entire 
Whataburger. Okay, Big so burger. we had Whataburger at 11.30 last yes. night because I couldn't eat after 12. Yeah. So we're like, let's get Whataburger. Well, that was me. Yeah. Babe was going to eat his leftovers like a good, good yes. person. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I had, and not, I was still hungry, but I'm saying I still woke up with all of that food still left in my stomach, even though I had a bowel movement and stuff like that. And then you, you have got breakfast. to eat just a little tiny bit. You still have to move this entire, yeah, entire body. And then you went that long. Mm -hmm. And then all that other stuff. You know what I mean? I don't Your know. Your stomach is off the tree. It's so loud. It's so funny. And plus, don't forget, when you go in, what were they asking you? Have you had this? Do you have this? Do you have that? Da, 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 da. Right? So when they're talking about make sure you stay hydrated with your medicines, mm -hmm. right? Your stomach is now this small versus normal size. So it's like, well, how much can you have to fit in your medicines, your pain meds? My water. Your water. So all of it is now affected by the surgery because it's not like, like the rest of us. We could just, you know, gouge the water, gouge yeah. this and be all bloated. You can't. Yeah, oh, that's why I ate my crackers. Oh, no, I ate that banana. Yeah, you ate the banana. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Downstairs. Yeah, I did eat a banana because I was like, I need to take my medicine. Yeah. I and that's it. Then you're done. Then you're full. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you know I had I mean? that banana. So that's like, good. You have to sacrifice <laughs> a banana and a little bit of water for your medicine. And then, boom, now you're going to start to, because that stuff's going to dehydrate you. So yeah. now, the next time you do get hungry, like now, you have to think, do I eat or do I drink? Yeah. Because you don't want to dry out with the medicine. You know, even though you were just on IV and a lot of liquids. Yeah. You're probably not dehydrated. But even the nurse said, make sure you drink enough to make your pee clean. And I don't, I was like, I don't think she even know. Or to make your pee clear. It's on Why did she say that? It's on the document. She went through the document and read each thing. And I'll show you on the oh, document. Oh, that's a lot it of says, water yeah, to make. Yeah, make sure you drink to make your pee clear. And I said, she tells me that. But she's not gonna be able to do that. She has a surgery, but I didn't bring it up. I will do my best. That's all I could do is do my best. Right. So that's why it really has a lot because anybody who has VSG surgery, any post any surgeries you have after that, you have to now take it's gonna be handled different. Yeah, I think I spoke about that about um when I had my dental surgery too, and they did not ask if I had any tiny stomachs and they gave me four different medications and I couldn't finish because I was so nauseous because oh and the doctor told me that I was like yeah they gave me ibuprofen he's like that is the worst thing for your stomach and your is it kidney or liver I forgot which one over Tylenol ibuprofen? the ibuprofens and really? he was like because I was like I had a tiny stomach he's like no I would not give that he's like that's so harsh on the stomach and on the mm. whatever and that's why we were like well, what medications and that's when we had that medication talk because mm. I was like I don't want to go through that again I was like it was so nauseous and painful and couldn't take the pain medicine because it was, ugh, it was trauma. so we're on hydrocodone so far so good yeah, no hives making you feel no hives, because at one point in time when I had my son, I was allergic to hydrocodone, mm. but I'm not anymore. Oh. I don't want to drag this video out, guys, but uh, I am going to get some food. I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. What do you mean? You need that watch time. You might check 40 well, minutes. Well, I don't want to bore them. 40 minutes. <laughs> you need that watch time. <laughs> you a thousand hours. I don't want to bore you guys, but I love y'all. I just posted that video yesterday of my NSVs, and I love you guys. The feedback is so funny and so cute. Um, so this is just another video in another the vlog, in another the vlog. vlog. So I love you guys and everything is going good. So thank you. I will be up and hopping around and, um, my big strong husband <laughs> picked me up upstairs, brought me upstairs. Mm -hmm. NSV. All right. Love oh, you guys. Oh, lovely. you hungry too? Yeah. <laughs> And we will, I will show y'all what I eat in a minute. Okay, bye. Taparoni. No, this, okay, so we had Jason's Deli yesterday. So I have half a cup of chili in here. My husband is a mind reader. Nice to meet you. And he knows I love Frito Pie. So he brought me 
a personal Frida Pie, and I told him I would marry him <laughs> over again. Because <laughs> I was literally thinking this in my head, and I was like, man, I wish my foot was not messed up so I can go down there myself and make it because I didn't want to bug him. So dream. Just think I like babe. You gotta know what you <laughs> really right, want. So I'll let y'all know how much I eat. And what hopefully I don't get nauseous because this looks really good. Mm. Baby. Big, Big, Big Papa got a, a bite of go ahead. Chipotle. Mm-hmm. That's how I eat that booty. Ew, baby. Uh, that is not proper. All right, I am all done. I didn't eat it all, but I am nice and full. I'm going to eat good. Big Papa's still eating. And that's Do it. you need to take more minutes in? Or? Yeah, I'm about to take it 30 minutes. Okay. And then I have my medicines. My baby brought me. Look at all this stuff I got going on over here. Blueberry lemonade. And then I will take those.